welcome to Flash and Friends, reloaded from the palatial extra medium uh, production studios here in Clearwater, Florida. Coming up on the show, uh, we're going to check in with Father Disco. We actually sent him out for the uh, for the Oscars last night, and he had a, well, sort of a special outfit that he wants to showcase, and uh, we'll uh, talk about that coming up. So you keep it right here. It's Flash and Friends, reloaded. Flash and Friends is powered by Extra Medium Productions, your high-definition, full-service production studio. ExtraMedium.com. Hey, welcome back to Flash and Friends Reloaded from the palatial Extra Medium Studios here in Clearwater, Florida. Hey, don't forget, folks, if uh, you'd like to get yourself a podcast going on, uh, anything that has to do with the Internet, maybe some social media, uh, make sure you check out the guys here at uh, Extra Medium Productions right here in Clearwater. They can take care of all of those needs for you and do it in a very professional way, too, with the whole big staff that they got working here. Uh, tell you what, man, a Father Disco got to go out to the Oscars. We were telling you about that uh, just a little while ago before we uh, went to break. And uh, he had a very special, uh, we'll call it an outfit. And uh, we're going to talk to him. I think I heard the limo pulling up a second ago. He should be pop popping it. Oh, there he is. Father Disco, you don't have to knock. Come on in, man. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, look at that. What's up, my brother? Ladies yeah, and what's up? Brothers and sisters out there in the world. The good Father Disco has arrived. Oh, man. I was just at the Oscars all week, baby. Is, let me tell you. you. Is that the one you won? That's that's what I won, yeah. <laughs> nice. But let me tell you something, bro. I, I was so inspired, let me tell you, by that... That tuxedo dress. Oh yeah, the tuxedo, that, that tuxedo dress. dress. That I was so inspired that we came up with. I came up with my own little disco diaper. Oh, we got some great footage that they rolled on it last night. Let's check that out. Check real that quick. out. Oh my goodness, look at that. He's even. He's even got the professional spin going. You like on that, right don't there. you? That's very nice. Very nice. Your inspiration for that, well, huh? Well, total inspiration. In fact, I tell you what, I am not wearing underwear ever, ever, ever again. Because I mean, the disco diaper makes it happen right there. Do they, have, I, that, do they have that in my size? I got one just for you. It's got oh, like a little flash logo on yeah, it. Yeah, I want like some it. lightning yeah. bolts on mine. Mr. Nightlife, he's gonna want one too. Trust me. Yo, I bet he will too. Yeah, I can see him. Always. Dude, I'll, I can tell, see him I'll tell you what. Next biker out. event, I'm wearing it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I could I, I could have used it yesterday. I don't know. It might have been a little hot for it. Wait till you see my Fourth of July one. You're gonna like that. Hey, look at this. I still got the Q-tip action. I added to it yesterday. Evidently, my sunblock had more sun than block in there yesterday. And my girl uh, Nikki, whoo, 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 she's real Q-tipped up. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was it Man. was pretty rough. Went down to Peggy's Corral yesterday. We got uh, some great footage out there. Uh, talk to our friends at the Fran Hosh booth. They're one of the title sponsors out there. Uh, Born to Ride, Ron Galetti, the crew were out there shooting for the TV show. And, uh, of course, uh, Debbie always puts on a great Mardi Gras party. Uh, had a nice band out there playing. And what an Jamming, amazing brother. day. As a matter of fact, we got some a uh, couple of shots here, too. Uh, check this out of uh, of us. We went out uh, went out into East Hillsborough County, out uh, east of Brandon, out into, like, the Fishhawk area. And the next thing you know, we're, we're, we're out. Uh, Papa D, I believe, was our uh, was leading the pack yesterday. We had about 15 or 20 bikes out there with us. Dang. We ended up out here. Look at look at the river. And then, as uh, as you can see here at the end, I think it was a unicorn uh, just standing out there in the middle of the river. Wow. I, I'm i not sure if it was a unicorn or hey, well, not. How much did you have to drink at that point? I don't know, but uh, they say uh, don't ride the white horse. <laughs> there it is right there, everybody. <laughs> That's but right. uh, what an amazing day, an amazing ride. You know, of course, riding weather here, the last being the last week of, uh, of February. Uh, we don't have many, uh, many riding days Did you days ride the left. unicorn? No, I couldn't reach it. It was oh, out in the middle of the water it. there for damn. crying out loud. But like I say, we eventually got here to, uh, to Peggy's Corral, and man, the party was just going off out there like it does all the time. And then, of course, we had a nice ride back, and it just turned out to be a great day. Oh, it was a beautiful day, man. Good day to be out. In fact, uh, over the weekend... Uh, we had a great time with Mr. Nightlife downtown Clearwater. We're going to talk about that a little bit later, right? Listen, uh, TampaBayNightlife.tv. If you ever need to know what's going on in the Tampa Bay area, you got to check it out. As a matter of fact, a lot of folks will dial that up on their phone, plug it in uh, as you're going to work on Friday mornings. You can have all of your weekend plans made before you get to the office. So check that out, TampaBayNightlife.tv. Do it there. As a matter of fact, uh, we'll bring uh, we'll bring Mr. Nightlife in next here on Flash and Friends Reloaded. Hey, don't move. DJ Pros is your five-star premier DJ and MC service. Photo booths, uplighting, and event management. Whether you're planning a party, corporate event, or wedding, give them a call today at 727-755-DJAY. That's 727-755-DJ. And tell them Father Disco sent you. It's Flash Man at the Fran Hosh Tent. Guess who I ran into, of all people, my buddy Brian. How are things, man? Oh, it's been awesome, guys. We're out here at Peggy's Corral for the Mardi Gras party. 
And this is a you know second year that Fran's been a title sponsor of this event. It just gets bigger and better every year. Do I have to do anything special for beads? That's all we need to know. Yeah, but I can't tell you over the video. You know, you know. Oh right, that's <laughs> happening right here. Peggy's corral. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around here and get a look at. We just pulled in here. What an amazing crowd going on here tonight. Of course, uh, Fran Hosh, one of the title sponsors. They're always supporting all the bikers and everything bikers do. And you can catch this guy right here, my buddy Brian, on the front lines every single time. Come out and see us. Go up to Facebook and check out franosh.com or 866-LAW-FRAN or franlaw.com. There's Take so care. many ways. Right Absolutely. here, you can do it right here. here. You can do it right here on the Flash and Friends, too. Flash, the letter N, Friends, live at Peggy's Corral. This segment is powered by the Shipwreck Bar on North Clearwater Beach, where the real locals go and the tourists are always welcome. This segment is powered by TampaBayNightlife.tv, Tampa Bay's video entertainment guide and home of Tampa Bay's top 20 things to do with a new show every Friday. Welcome back, Flash friends. Reloaded, I'm Flash. <laughs> These are my friends, the good father disco, Two Mr. Nightlife them. right here. Two old friends. Oh my gosh. And uh, we were, we were uh, catching up a little bit uh, uh, off camera, and one of the crazy things that uh, Mr. Nightlife was talking about was... Uh, uh, this lottery that what was it like 1.5 <laughs> billion, billion dollars. dollars in Simpsonville, mm. South Carolina, and it hasn't been claimed yet. Is that, is, is that, the, <laughs> that seems to be what the issue is. Yes, now, right? they have uh, less than two months to claim it. And what was the number? 878, 878 million dollars million take dollars. home. How would you not know that that's your ticket? And, and I mean, if you lived in that town. Why well, would you not be not a big town, brother? Because I'm, I'm sure that it's it's. It's being talked about. It's not a big town, and it's not on an interstate where you know you have a bunch of people coming by from out of state. They think it's a local, and they think the ticket was lost. Wow. Well, let me tell you, I'm going to give you my address in case you find that ticket. All my family in Disco. Simpsonville. Hello, I love you. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Yeah. that's a lot. To all, of our, <laughs> to all our friends and family are in Simpsonville, yeah, man, we really that's love a lot you. Of disco right. balls As a matter right of fact, there. we're going to dedicate this whole show to you. How about that? Don't forget where Wanna we are. Be a star? Maybe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, unbelievable. So 878 million just kind of left sitting there. And you were going over some of the details <laughs> as far as if it is unclaimed. Yeah, if it's unclaimed, the owner of the store doesn't get his $50,000. Now, do they give that to him once I they... don't know why. 50 G. 50 grand the owner of the store gets just so, for selling the ticket, which is So he'll stupid. lose out on it. Because, right, because he sold the ticket. It's not right. his fault no one claimed it. All right. So I think he should get his 50 large, especially if no one claims the 878 million. What the hell's fifty grand? Nothing. Exactly. And, and with technology the today, they've got to know who bought these. Tickets. Well, that's what we, we, they're saying. The, the store owner said that at six a.m. the next day, that the state officials and the police were at his place and took his surveillance footage. So they know it's they a three. Took it. They took it. He never even saw it. There's a three-day window that the ticket was sold. And you know, with computers, they know exactly what exactly. time that. Everything's got to be. Everything's so got to be time. They know what that guy or girl looks like. Wow. And why they don't put that photo out there and say, "Hey, do you know this guy?" You know, exactly, you might just brother. need a little help. Could be an elderly guy. They know that exactly just, who it is. You know, they have somebody's to know grandmother exactly. has no idea what's going on. This is screwy in St. Louis, everybody. I mean, they might not screwy. know who he is, a name, but they'll have a video of him, they a picture of him. Did. Exactly. Yeah. So it is crazy. And and I, I like you said the. Um, the uh, state of South Carolina already allocated the 61. They were, they were going to get 61 million dollars in taxes, Ooh. just the state, and they already allocated the money in 2018. So it was never picked up. So they had to move that to 2019. Wow! And, and the now money, the money's gone. The money's gone. Money's so here gone. it is, the last money's week gone. in February, and they've got what two months now? Less than two months to come pick that Less up. Less than two months to get it. So get busy over there, folks. Well, I'll tell you what, might man, be I... time for some spring cleaning. If, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, follow but, the money, baby. You, follow the money. But could you imagine? I mean, could you actually imagine being the person and and yeah. knowing that there's a winning ticket and not knowing it if it's your ticket yeah. because you lost it or you said oh, I'm not going to win, you oh, discarded brother. it. Or you didn't check the numbers, or do like so many people throw it in their sun visor right. or someplace, and it's just gone, and well, you can't find the it. The store owner said he has so many regulars because, like I said, it's a, it's out there apparently. I haven't looked it up yet, but it's out in the middle of you know the Man, country. Man, that's just crazy. So bro. it's all regular customers. So he was hoping it was one of his regulars, but. Nothing wow. yet. Uh, I tell you what, you know, if, if I had that kind of money, I would take the disco diaper national. <laughs> yeah, national baby. That's it. Everybody. And you know why I'm wearing my, I'm wearing my Maybe. Punisher? 
Because that tuxedo was just punishing to watch, Maybe wasn't it? Maybe you could combine what? it with some Spanx. You could have like a disco diaper Spanx. So oh, not only do you look like thin, Ooh, but you never Mr. have to Nightline. go to the restroom. That's this right here. I'm a thinker. Mr. It all depends on how you look at it, it baby. Does <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah. well, listen, that's all the time Absolutely. we have for this episode of Flash and Friends. Listen, uh, we'd love for your input. Uh, make sure you like the page. It's Flash, the letter N, and Friends on Facebook, and uh, make sure you uh, you check us out uh, weekly for our weekly show here. Uh, special shout out to uh, the DJ Pros. Also shout Guys out rock. to uh, Dave Henning Financial. That's my guy. That's my financial guy. And of course, Tampa Bay Nightlife.tv for everything that's happening in the Tampa Bay area. Check it out <laughs> every Friday, or at least 20 or 30 things. Yeah, 20 that's ish. Top 20 ish. Top, that, that's it. The new top 20 ish. <laughs> so we'll see you guys we next count. week. You guys have a great week. Peace out.